So guess what just came back? That's right, it's time for my NFL Week 1 predictions. Now, I did do this um, midway through the season, so I didn't do it for th through the full way. But I decided, you know what? I want to do this again, because it gives me an opportunity to do stuff outside of my normal like comfort zone. And it actually is like, that's what I like to do sometimes, is sometimes like to do stuff outside of the comfort zone. So I wanted to do this video. And yeah, I know they're not the highest mark, but like it does like it does bring up a lot of stuff and I get to talk about football, which I do enjoy. I I sometimes need a break from comics, people. It's, it's my thing. Anyway, so and I know some of you guys enjoy it too. And it was actually I put a poll up on uh Facebook, I mean not Facebook, uh Patreon, and I said, "Hey, I th I'm thinking uh, should I bring back uh the NFL week 1 predictions?" And it was split 50-50. So I'm like, so several people did not like the idea, but yeah, I decided I I was the tiebreaker and decided, yeah, let's do it. Like uh, let's let's do it. So starting off tomorrow is the start of the NFL season. We're kicking off with a big bang in that it's the Buffalo Bills taking on the reigning defending Super Bowl champions, the Buffalo Bills, the Los Angeles Rams. Holy shit! Holy shit! Yeah, Bills versus Bills. It's L.A. versus Buffalo. So the uh, the Rams and the Bills. The Rams are the reigning defending champion of the Super Bowl, and they ha still have talent. They still have a lot of uh, good talent behind them. The Bills, however, are getting stronger, and w there is a lot of stuff riding on um, can the Bills make it over the hump this time and finally get a Super Bowl? Like, can is it finally time for the, su for the Bills to get the Super Bowl? I am one of those people who do think that the Bills are going to be the team to beat for the Super Bowl. Um, and the Rams are going to be... One, the, the AFC is just going to be a slugfest, but the NFC, where the Rams are, is pretty open shut of who's going to win, who's in, and who's out. And this game is going to be, like, a big test. And this could, for all intents and purposes, be the Super Bowl. Like, this could be um, the Super Bowl we see in... Um, in, in uh, February. So, my thoughts. I am giving this to Buffalo. I think Buffalo's defense is, is a nightmare. I think Josh Allen is a very powerful quarterback. And Matt Stafford's good too, but I'm seeing, like, Allen is doing stuff that I have not seen ever. Um, but I do think it's going to be, I am, I do think it's going to be a really good game, uh, like, season opener. So I am giving it to the Bills. Next up, we have the Eagles and the Lions. Now, this isn't as open and shut as it was last time, because I think the Lions have gotten better. They still have Jared Goff as a, as a quarterback, which what can you do? But the same could be said for the Eagles. The Eagles have gotten a lot better, and it's the it's kind of a tale of two stories, isn't it? Like, two of the same story, where the team improves very well, but their quarterbacks have a lot of question, because obviously Jalen Hurts, this is like his proving ground of, is he going to be the guy this year? I am giving this to the Eagles, but I do think the Lions have a chance of getting into this. And I do see them not going like 3, 13, and, and 1 this year. I do see them, I don't know, I wouldn't say they'd be playoff bound, but I do think they're going to get some wins and maybe some surprise wins too. But I am giving this to the Eagles. Um, next up, we have the 49ers and the Chicago Bears. 49ers, uh, this is an open shut one. The Bears, you're looking at a top 5 draft pick this year. You are straight up looking at. Just top five draft, uh, top five in draft, and the 49ers, It's this is going to be the game to show is Trey Lance the guy, or do we go back and pick Jimmy, uh, put Jimmy Garoppolo back in the highest paid backup quarterback ever? I'm giving this the 49ers because the Bears are just so bad. The bear, like the Bears, are my pick for the number one overall seed this year. Either them or the Falcons. Either way, um, yeah, I'm not giving this to the Bears. It's the 49ers. Moving on now to the Pittsburgh Steelers and the AFC champions, the Bang the Cincinnati Bengals. The Bengals shocked the world with a, with a bad offensive O-line to get to the Super Bowl and nearly won it. But the Steelers have a new quarterback and they've lost some pieces and brought back some new ones. This is a this is going to be an interesting one, but I am giving it to the Bengals because we still don't, we do it like Joe Burrow and Mitch Trubisky. Joe, Joe Burrow, but I do this, like, 
The thing of it is, is that the the Steelers still have a really good defense behind them. Their offensive line is yeah, but I will say that this team, like this team, I do see them not going to the Super Bowl, but I do see like some wins, and this could go either way. But I am giving this the Bengals. Next up, we have the Patriots and the Dolphins. Hey, another opener with this. And this is like I remember Week One also had the Patriots and the Dolphins playing. Now. I'm going to give this one to the Dolphins on a few grounds. Mac Jones, I think, is basically young Kirk Cousins. That's All the Vikings fans just went, yep, it's true. And even though Tua has a lot of questions, and I think if Tua doesn't perform this year, you're, you have Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddell on that, in the wide receiver core, and you have fucking Teron Armstead on that line too. So I, I don't know... How else easier this could be, Tua? If you if Tua does not perform this season, he's out. But I am giving this to because the Patriots, they're like they've they've been sapped. They've just been sapped. And yeah, I'm I do think they are going to cause some fits for some other people. But these are guys are not playoff. I do not think right now these guys are playoff bound. Um, that what by side note. Watching the Buffalo Bills absolutely annihilate the Patriots in that wild card game was so fucking satisfying. It was like watching the sacking of Rome, <laughs> where a crumbling, decadent empire was raided by its long-awaited enemies, who basically waited until the right time to to burn it to the ground. Anyway, so giving it to the Dolphins. Next up, we have the Cleveland Browns and the Panthers. Oh boy, this is going to be fun for so many reasons, because Cleveland, I used to like you. I really did. I really used to like Cleveland. But then you went and, cha and uh, traded a for a, um, for a sexual predator as your quarterback, who hasn't snapped a, game, a, a, a play in two years. Looked horrible, by the way. And he's suspended for 11 games. And you also stabbed your quarterback in the back. And he's playing in the team you're playing. For the, on the team that you're now playing on, I don't see the Panthers as as uh, wild card bound, and I and you're not going anywhere with Matt. They do have talent, but they have a bad coach. So, I think this is going to be Matt Rule's last year. I am giving this to um, the Panthers on the grounds of the Browns are going to have Jacoby Brissett, who is while not bad, he's not a great qu uh, quarterback. And you don't have Kareem Hunt anymore, and it's literally just run run it past Nick Chubb. That's that's going to be the play call. Even though, yeah, that's going to be the same thing with um, the Panthers because they have Christian McCaffrey until he gets hurt after Game 3. So, given this the Panthers, next up we have the Colts and the Texans. Bleh. And AFC South rivals both playing. Um... Texans, you're a mess, and all you can really hope for is the two first-round draft picks you got next year, and that's really it. That's it. Colts, you have uh, you have Matt R Matty Ice, Matt Ryan as your QB now, so I'm gonna give this one to Matt Ryan. I do think the Colts are like gonna be mu vastly improved with Matt Ryan. Um, yeah. So, and the Texans are just that terrible. So, there you go. Next up, we have the Falcons and the and the Saints. The Falcons, you're you've you're now rebuilding. You're now officially rebuilding, and um, the Saints. I don't know what what to think of you. I generally don't. I I do think on one hand these this team could make it to a Super Bowl, but on the other end, or at least the playoffs. But at the same time, I don't like they've just lost talent. Their their coach is clearly untested. And Jameis Winston leaves a lot to be desired. So I generally don't know what to think of them. But in this game, for right now, like focusing on the right now, I do see them beating the Falcons. The Falcons, you're just, like I said, you and the Bears are going to be competing for the number one overall draft pick. Next up, we have the Ravens and the Jets. Jets, you're the Jets. That's all I'm going to say. I'm giving this one to the Ravens. Next up, we have the Jaguars. And the Washington football team. I mean Redskins. I mean Commanders. I mean Dan Snyder is a piece of shit. I mean... Oh, right. The Commanders. Yeah. It's the Commanders. Um, yeah. This could easily be like a, just a suck bowl in and of itself. Um, 
To be fair, the Jaguars do have a better... They do have Doug Peterson um, as a head coach. That's not saying much. And uh, they've got... An, and, the Jagu- and the Commanders have a quarterback by the name of Carson Wentz, who literally der- clown showed his way out of the co- being a co- the Colts QB. So... I am going to give this one. I don't because honestly, they both suck. The, both these teams. It's going to be a not a fun time for either of these teams. So really, I don't know who to really like look at. I do think the Jaguars are going to be improved, but they're still going to be looking for at least a top five draft pick. Um, I'm going to give this one slightly to the Commanders, not by much. It all depends on how well Carson Wentz plays. Next up, we have our uh, pro- a, a really good game between the Packers and the Vikings. It's always cool to see the Packers and Vikings uh, wore it out. And Vikings, you guys vastly improved just getting rid of Mike Zimmer alone. Um, getting a new head coach. Packers, you're still the Packers. You'll lose in the, in the playoffs as always. You know, you'll, you'll put up great... Aaron Rodgers will put up great... You know numbers and whatnot, and then get immunized from the playoffs. Is that joke been overused? I don't fucking care. I am kind of uh, uh, kind of twisted on this because this could go either way. I I don't think the pack the Vikings are ready right now. Like this is going to be a first game win, but I could see it swing either way. Like both the Vikings and um, the Packers. Well, the Packers have like been de- de- depleted slightly because they don't have Devon- they don't have Devonte Adams anymore. They've lost Darius Smith to the Vikings, funny enough. And um, but I, I do I am going to give this slightly to the Packers because you know Aaron Rodgers and all that. Um, but I could see this game swinging either way. Next up, we got the New York uh, Giants taking on my Tennessee Titans. Titan, uh, Giants, you're 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 a, you're a joke. You're a fucking joke. Um, at this point, you are, like. That's all I can really say is that you guys are just looking for a top ten draft pick to this this season. So, I am giving this to my Titans. Which, it, uh, while I am saying like I am saying that the the Titans are gonna definitely be a for like definitely. It should not take the Giants seriously, because again, any given Sunday, as they always say. But the thing of it is, is that this is not going to be an easy season for the Titans, because we're kind of in semi-rebuild, and uh, I don't know how much longer we can keep my, uh, uh, Matt Vrabel around. Anyway, moving on now to the Raiders and the Chargers. Um, Raiders and Chargers both increased dramatically in skill and whatnot. You know, Chargers got... You know, Khalil Mack. They got other great players in the draft. Raiders got Devontae Adams. So it logically stands to reason that they'll both play for a tie, but then the Chargers coach will call a unnecessary timeout and then lead to a kick uh, to a game-winning kickoff. Yep, still can't get over that, can you, Charger fans? <laughs> um, this is a tough one. Tough one to gauge. Um. Justin Herbert is a monster of a quarterback, and the Chargers have basically done well. But the the Raiders, the Raiders also have even though they have like Devonte Adams, and for some reason people think, oh, they have Devonte Adams, the best wide receiver in 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 uh, one of the best wide receivers in football, and this is true. But that doesn't like just because you have one good player doesn't mean it's going to be a great season. Just look at Calvin, you know, look at fucking. Um, Calvin Johnson from the Lions. Did they go to a Super Bowl because they had that one really good wide receiver? Oh, they didn't? So I'm going to give this one to the Chargers. Um, also, I don't trust Josh, Mc- Josh McDaniel, that fucking snake, as far as I could throw him. So, Raiders, I do see you guys making a good chance to playoffs, a shot at it, but I don't think you're going to get it this year. You should have stuck with uh, Joe, uh, um, Rich Passaccia. Just saying. Moving on now to the Cardinals and the Chiefs. Chiefs uh, lost um, Tyree Kill, but they still have Travis Kelsey and other weapons for, and, and you know, a guy named Patrick Motherfucking Mahomes. So you know, there's that. Cardinals, you literally had to overpay your non-winning quarterback a shit ton of money 
and and having the clause that he has to do homework. Are you going to start the midseason collapse early, or are you going to wait till you know the midseason? I'm curious. I do think the Cardinals do have a lot of good weapons on them still, but at the same time, I am going to give this to the Chiefs. But this will be a good litmus test to see how well the Chiefs are without having tight one of Mahomes' top weapons at his disposal. I think that's going to be this is going to be a good litmus test of that. The Cardinals, I don't know what to tell you. I do, I do think they're going to be good, but not like playoff good. Um, moving on now to our Sunday night primetime game with the Tampa Bay Patriots. Excuse me, the uh, the Tampa Bay Braveneers. I'm, I'm sorry, the New England Buccaneers. God damn it, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers against the Dallas Cowboys. Ugh. This is a game that could go either way, really. I do, like, um, both teams have kind of had their strength sapped from them, so, yeah, I do, like, both teams have uh, had their their strength sapped from them in multiple reasons, like, you know, they lost, you know, Cowboys lost Amari Cooper, Brady has lost his offensive line for the most part. I am going to give this to... The Cowboys on the defense alone. I do think the defense is just going to murder that offensive line, that weakened offensive line. And Brady, we've seen what he's like without an offensive line. So I'm going to give, but this is again another game that could swing either way. I'm giving it slightly to the Cowboys though. And finally, for our Monday night game, we have the Broncos taking on the Seahawks, the Russell Wilson revenge game. All right. <coughs> Broncos. It's time to see where your um, uh, the, all those draft picks were worth getting Russell Wilson. And also, Seahawks, good luck with having Geno Smith as your starter and your backup being Drew Locke. Um, this is going to be a fun Monday night game, though. I am going to say it's going to be a fun Monday night game. I'm going to give this slightly to the Broncos because... Well, actually, not even slightly. I'm going to give this straight up to the Broncos because the Seahawks... The best thing you are going to be looking at this year is a, um, just tank. Just tank. Also, after this season, cut the cord with Pete Carroll. It's time for him to go. It's It's been long, Pete Carroll has long been overdue for a good, like, walk the plank moment. So there you go, guys. That is pretty much my NFL Week 1 predictions. I could, I fully acknowledge that I could be totally wrong on all of these. I could be... 100% totally wrong on all of these. But, as always, for those who watch this, you know, you let me know in the what your predictions are. And, yeah, football's back. Let's, uh, to quote Russell Wilson, Broncos Nation, let's ride.